What are you doing, Grant? Has the desperation truly taken you from logical choices to fairy tale land? You know you don't believe in this garbage. There has to be at least one more option. Better than this. They're getting louder every day. Every day, that psychopathic bastard from hell walks among us. It's like a call from God, giving me a sign. The storm is coming. And I need to prepare, but not like this. You've got to be kidding. You want me to go see a psychic? Yes, I do. Seriously? Look, I know it's been taking you quite a lot of time to crack this case. I thought you could use extra help. With all due respect, Miss Vaughn. Captain Vaughn? With all due respect, Captain Vaughn. I've been working at this precinct for 15 years. And in those 15 years, in which I have solved some of the most unsolvable crimes, not once, have I needed the help of one of those jokers? So, to answer your request of going to see one now, I respectfully refuse. Captain. You boast years of experience in police work. Solved unsolvable cases, as you say. But if you showed even a hint of said experience currently, I wouldn't be requesting you to visit a psychic in the first place. Three months. Three months this bastard has been out there. Three months of death and horror plaguing these streets because you've been unable to capture him. So unless you can show me hard evidence in the next five seconds, you're going to visit a psychic. Am I clear, detective? Captain, you cannot be serious. Am I clear? Transparently. Good. Here's the address. I set up an appointment for you this time tomorrow. Got to write down a name, Captain? The name is Fialkov. Who's there? What do you want? I'm Detective Aberline. My captain sent me here to see you. Do you have proof of this claim? There. Can I come in now? Jesus Christ. I guess I'll take that as a... Come in, quickly!
Don't touch that! If your greasy hands touch any object in this store without permission, Hades himself will rise from the underworld. He'll pull your slimy soul out of your body, drag it to the dark pits of Tataris, and drown it in the river Styx. Duly noted. Please, have a seat so we can discuss our business. This cat's a few eggs short of an omelet. As a cop, you meet plenty of wingnuts, weirdos, and screwballs, especially when you work homicide. That being said, this is definitely a first for me. Please, place your hands on the table, palms facing up. I swear to Christ, when I get out of this place, I'm transferring to another precinct. That new captain's out of her mind. Now, tell me, you are here because you are looking for someone, correct? Well, that is what my captain told you over the phone, isn't it? Alright, look. I've never done anything like this before and probably shouldn't be doing anything like this. But I've been looking for this criminal for months now. I'm running out of options. My captain suggested I come see a psychic and here I am. So, can we just move this along? so I can get back to doing logical casework and not wasting my time with this bullshit? Well, that can be arranged. But first, you must focus your mind. All right, whatever. You gotta wonder, how exactly does someone start to believe in this nonsense? It must have caused every ounce of sanity this Fruit Loop had to begin practicing this crap. I mean, seriously, where does it come from? They get dropped on their heads as infants, struck by lightning. It can't be a religious thing. Maybe it's some kind of cult thing. I get a lot of those as a homicide detective. I remember just last month. You know, you're not doing a very good job focusing your mind. Jesus fucking Christ. I do believe that saying that is more of a reason for Jesus to kick you out of church. How are you doing that? Doing what? That! How are you doing that? How can I hear you inside my head? Well, there does happen to be a sign outside the building that has the word psychic on it. <laughs> really? I would think that would be an adequate explanation, but most people still seem surprised when I respond to their thoughts. Look. Let's cut to the chase. I'm a real psychic and I can read your mind. You're just going to have to live with that. Now, you have about 10 minutes until the next bus arrives at the station at East Snyder Street. Your target will be hopping on that bus on his way to his apartment for rest and sex with a $500 prostitute. If you want to catch him, I suggest you leave now. Oh. They will never learn. Good, I hate cats. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Moses happy. Come by the Moses mood ring. <laughs> okay. Right. Good night, John Boy. <laughs>